Good evening. This is Our Lady of Victory Church on North Avenue in Thomas, Ohio, broadcasting via FM Radio 93.7 and also live streaming via our parish Facebook page. We are about to begin the celebration of the 5 p.m. Vigil Mass for the second Sunday of Advent. A reminder to anyone who may be praying with us from the parking lot. At communion time, the minister will come out to the covered walkway to distribute communion to anyone praying with us from the parking lot. At that time, please come forward to receive communion, then kindly return to your vehicle for the remainder of this celebration. For any unable to come forward, once those who are able have done so, then please drive up to the covered walkway and a minister will bring communion to you while you are in your vehicle. Again, then simply return to your spot in the parking lot for the remainder of this celebration. Thank you, and we will begin shortly. Again, welcome everyone. Please stand and let's sing together on Jordan's Bank, number 41. O people of Zion, behold, the Lord will come to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of his voice heard in the joy of Christ, 
the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And we gather on this Advent night, mindful that salvation is close at hand, mindful of Emmanuel, God with us. For the times we have failed to recognize the Lord, for the times we have sinned, we call these to mind and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips, he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the lover shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together, with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay with the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord, as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out. For his dwelling 
shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another, in keeping with Christ Jesus that with one accord you may with one voice glorify God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness 
to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. A week ago this past Monday, I was part of a meeting at the downtown offices of the diocese in Cleveland. 
I arrived a few minutes early before the meeting was to begin, and, and there's a Dunkin' Donuts that's located in that same building, so I decided to stop and get myself a mocha coffee. It might be a long meeting. When I entered, aside from a group of about eight to ten young men, I was the only customer, and it appeared that they had already been served, and, and they were just talking among themselves, enjoying one another's company, so, so I moved up to place my order. I did that, and before I knew it, one of the young men, who was off to the side, on the other side of the store, stepped quickly over to me and simply said, Sir, I'll pay for this. Imagine my surprise. I thanked him, but told him that that really wasn't necessary, but he insisted. I was still a bit dazed by it, as truthfully, I, I've never really experienced a complete stranger doing something like that for me. Now, once the cashier processed his gift card and gave him the receipt, he surprised me yet but one more time. He handed me the receipt and the gift card and said, here, there's still three dollars left on the gift card. Enjoy your coffee. Again, I, I thanked him profusely and I told him he really didn't need to do that, but he insisted. Then, well, you know, it's that time of year, and without thinking about anything other than where I am and who I am rooted in, I wished him a Merry Christmas. And as nice as he could be, and with a very large smile on his face, he responded, Oh, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm Muslim. Well, then I responded, Well, whatever it is you celebrate, may it be happy for you. Then the wolf shall be the guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors together with their young they shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play in the cobra's den. There will be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. I came across a reflection this past week from the prophet Isaiah, on the prophet Isaiah's scripture passage we've heard tonight, as well as the picture that we're given of St. John the Baptist in this weekend's Gospel from Matthew. Now, of both prophets, the author wrote this. The prophets give us the imagination for what is possible when convention, logic, or even good common sense tell us otherwise. They point the way to Jesus and they prepare God's people for the kingdom that is at hand and still not yet fully realized. We hear John the Baptist call us to repentance and we hold on to this image of Isaiah. What are these prophets telling us about God's kingdom? Clearly. They are telling us to encounter others with whom we may not typically engage, to live in harmony with all God's creatures, to share a meal with those we might consider an adversary, to commit to working toward peace and justice, seeking right relationships, even if it seems our actions will have little impact. My friends, you and I wait for the Lord to return. You and I spend time wondering just how it is we will prepare for this return. How we should be ready for this return. There are many things we can do, should do, to prepare, to be ready. Most certainly, at the top of this list, is doing all we can to model our lives on the pattern of how Jesus lived his life. And that is encountering others with whom we may not typically engage. Whether, like in my case, it's by accident or it's by intention. Now, any of us can wait on that accidental encounter 
to engage with someone we might not typically engage with, or, or we can take that step now, consciously, deliberately, knowing that the Spirit of the Lord whom Isaiah spoke of, whom Isaiah knew, is the very Spirit who rests upon us now. The very Spirit who desires to move us now so that we might consciously take the time to encounter another now. Even someone we might not typically engage with. Jesus is present in our gathering, in our prayer, in the word broken. We join our voice with his this night and always. That the church in her leaders and in us may call itself and the world to repentance, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That throughout our world, hurt and destruction may yield to the tranquility of God's peaceable kingdom especially in the Ukraine, parts of Africa, as well as the Americas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work to preserve the world's balance and beauty may challenge us to be stewards of God's good creation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may dare to listen hard for the voices of prophets within and beyond the church, when they confront our complacency, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That ministers to the sick and homebound may bring the encouragement of the scriptures and the nourishment of this holy community to those they serve. And that our sick and suffering, especially George Ann Bain, John Charterino, Bob Christian, Mary Damacone, Beverly Finn, Mike Firth, Daisha Fertney, Jeffrey Grismer, Dan Lane, Tom and Candy Lorkowski, Sister Marcia Madigan, Becky Mishler, Joanne Pastizzi, Dora Katropi, Paula Simmons, Brooke Russell, Carol Scally, Katrina Schunk, 
John Von Gunton, Bob Wakeman, Clara Whitus, Maxim Kadza, and Lou Wells, along with the victims and survivors of clergy sexual abuse in our church, may find strength in our prayer and our support, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Advent may be a season of grace for inquirers, candidates, and catechumens, as well as candidates for confirmation and the reception of First Communion, along with any returning to the faith community, and may they be welcomed by us and others as Christ has welcomed us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we commemorate the 78th anniversary of the founding of Our Lady of Victory Parish this week, we may be renewed in our commitment and faith as disciples of the Lord, loving God ever more fervently, loving others ever more deeply, dedicating ourselves to becoming and making disciples along the way, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith may bear witness to God's reign by living in harmony with one another and by glorifying God with one voice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have recently died, Mary Lou Clark, and all of those who have been gathered by Christ into the harvest of eternity may find God's holy mountain to be a haven of peace and God's dwelling glorious, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may trust God will provide for the needs that remain deep in the silence of our hearts and minds, those written in our prayer notes book, as well as those we have been asked to pray for through our renewal, recommitment initiative. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Stir up within us, O God, of peace and mercy, a sincere desire for repentance, that baptized with the Holy Spirit and enkindled by the fire of your love, we may bring to every circumstance and setting the justice, gentleness, and peace that the incarnation of your word has caused to sprout up and blossom upon the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who was, who is, and who is to come, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our offertory chant, we're going to sing Every Valley, and it's number seven.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. 
for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. May incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, 
your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my mind. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion hymn, we're going to sing Christ Circle Round Us, and it's number 57.
Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to give thanks to God for so many who give of their time and talent, certainly support your parish's mission and ministry through the gift of treasure. Envelope users, always a reminder to use the collection boxes. Um, there's some Advent Christmas resources that still remain, not a lot, but if you haven't gotten yours yet or you know someone who needs them, please feel free to take those. All we ask is a free will offering, unless it's a breaking bread and the, the 2023 missile. That is a specific contribution. There's an envelope for that. Uh, a reminder that Christmas gift giving is still underway. The deadline for your helping with that is this Friday, December 9th. And so we urge you too to take advantage of doing that through Faith Direct. You can go right online and, and do it instantly. Don't forget your bulletins and take fives or the entrance to the church. Just a reminder that Nine Nights of Night Prep continues tonight at 8 p.m. We'll be back. It's through and including Thursday, December 8th. And I must tell you, I have just been so gratified by the, the turnout of individuals who participated in that. I think tonight's the fourth night? Fourth night. Um, so please, it's, it's free, uh, but it's just a, a wonderful way. It's the Church's Prayer. It's just a wonderful way to like bring a close to the day. Again, it'll conclude this Thursday, December 8th, which is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, also our 78th anniversary of our founding. And it will be followed by an ice cream social with a specially created ice cream just for the event. Not our anniversary, although we could buy, uh, but really for the nine nights of prayer. Uh, Mass on Thursday, which is a holy day of obligation, is at 8.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. And as I speak of that, just uh, information, the word has just gotten out that our youth group is invited as middle school and high school youth, invited to gather for Mass that night as a group with your families, what have you, at 7 p.m., stay for prayer, and then enjoy a little social time uh, with ice cream following that. So be aware of that, please. Uh, tomorrow is the Periscope Religion Preschool Meets, Periscope Religion Grades K-8 meet at the high school. There's a confirmation session, and then Light Team at 5 p.m. So tomorrow will be a full day. Also a reminder, the Knights of Columbus Keep Christ in Christmas poster contest. The deadline for those submissions is, um, I believe, next, or it's tomorrow, Sunday the 4th. Where's Linda? Is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is the deadline. Um, and that's for grades pre-K through grade 8, so uh, be aware of that. Next Sunday, all you sinners, there will be at least two of you. Um, there's an area parish communal advent reconciliation celebration at St. Eugene's at 2 p.m. And there will be lots and lots of additional confessors. Um, I'll be there. Uh, you don't have to come. To uh, but I'll be there, and I hope to see many of you there as well. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that... Rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. Amen.
may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. We all announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. And let's sing Ready the Way of the Lord, and it's number 643. <laughs> Thank you. 